Hello everybody, it's your boy Twin Plays here, back in another video. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So, um, for everyone new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn that post notifications before we move on, because it means so much to me. We're almost at 21,000 subscribers, and I have so many more tutorials out there. It would mean a lot if you hit that subscribe button. Um, and if you want, join the Discord because we will help out a lot of people who have questions for this video and with more videos. Um, I know there's a lot of questions with the please donate and I'm trying to answer as many as possible. Possible and same for user. There is a few issues of course, but you know, there's a lot of ways you can use this. So in this video, we are going to be doing the final kind of version of the please donate. Um, now user just, you know, he decided this might be the final version um, because there's not really much to add to it. Um, he did a lot of stuff and... There's a lot of things we fixed, and um, yeah, that's about it. Now, um, I know you guys have been wanting things like a new game pass, and like, uh, like if people donate a certain amount of stuff, it it uh, it, you know does the nuke, all that kind of stuff. Um, we're not gonna be doing too much of that. Uh, we might make that like soon or sooner or later, but I'm planning on not doing that just due to uh, DMCA issues. If you guys know what that is, um, it's basically like copyright. So. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be making a tutorial on that, but, um, you know, rather than that, we are going to talk about what we added. So, um, well, what user added himself. Feel free to check him out in the description. It's Def Daniel. Um, he is amazing, and he helps out a lot of people in our Discord, and he made this game basically from scratch. Um, and I'd recommend go checking out all the other videos. So, basically, he fixed the notifications as in, like, the claim, edit, refresh, and uh, the show notifications. Um, and now if you donate over a hundred robux, it will show different particles and sounds so like confetti and Certain emitters and that's what I'm going to talk about if you uh, Want to change it so you can um, do the nuke kind of thing like a different emitter effect. We'll talk about that um, And he added admin stands so custom stands um, He added a custom stand for a hundred thousand um, donated um, and then he also um did this sign game pass thing so we will talk about that now um yeah so i think we should just get already into this so uh let's just look at the workspace and everything else in general so as you can tell we have our sign right here which i kind of talked about a little earlier um this is the proximity prompt and it is going to give you the game pass and the way it's going to check if the player owns the game pass for the sign so what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to go into replicated storage and you're going to go to this game pass id right here so you're going to put the value right here as in um the game pass id that is uh the nine number in the link um if you don't know how to do that just search it up like how do you get your game pass id on roblox super simple um, and you're going to put that number right here in this value. So now, basically, anyone that comes up to it and gets it will be able to get it if they have that game pass. So we did a bunch of stuff. He has the profile service, um, the asset manager as in like for the row proxy. Um, and I kind of explained a little bit more of the row proxy in the first video. And there's a lot to it. But um, yeah, so nothing too crazy in here we need to worry about. But that sign. Um, and then we have the boom box, of course. So when you go into the boom box... Um, this is basically the boombox uh, pro pro product. Um, now, the asset ID is going to be um, in the configuration right here. So product ID, you're going to put a developer product. Now, developer products, I can just show you real quick. You just go to game settings, go to, um, I think, sorry, monetization. And you are going to hit create right here. Um, and you're going to get that nine number. Um, so, yeah, just put it right here and you're good for there. Um, and it's basically going to ask the person to buy, you know, whatever amount of times and they can, uh, you know, put their music in the song that they want. So, um, I kind of really didn't talk about how you're actually supposed to get this kit. So you're going to actually go in the description. Okay. And you're going to grab the, um, model link or the disc, the, um, download link. There's going to be two of them. Um, and you can also join my discord. It's in located in community dev. So I'd recommend doing that. But um, you're basically going to grab the kit, I mean, open the page, and there's going to be that little three dots. You're going to hit edit or you're going to hit download. I mean, some people don't have the download if you don't have the plugin, but you can hit download or edit one or the other, and you basically will have the game. So all the links are in the description, just a reminder of that. All right, so right here we have the stands. So in each, every single one of them, they're all kind of the same thing. Now, to create a new one, you just duplicate it, uh, control D, uh, command D, yeah, control D, sorry. And then you just name it to uh, 13 since we have 12 already. So inside here, we have the admin and everything like that. So um, talking about the admins and stuff, um, we're going to talk about this in a second. So I actually haven't really looked at how he did this, but um, looks like we have a bunch of stuff. So this is the admin stand. So he made a 
bunch of things. So newsstand, I, I'm guessing it's going to be in service group service, which I'll talk about in a second. But um, so right here is the admin stand. It has the hammers. Um, I will show you. I mean, maybe let's um, I can think I can just bring it out. Oh, wait, no, it's actually what it is, is it's um, transparent. So as you can tell, it's like that. It's going to be metal. But um, I'm going to show you guys in a second here. So I just wanted to show you in general. So particles. OK, so proximity um this is the proximity prompt and the edit one so this is the um way to check how we do this so uh, we have primary 1000 and 10,000, and we have 100,000, and this is the admin stand new stand and admin okay so um adding more themes are a little hard but if you're new to scripting i would um kind of just pay attention to these else if statements right here so if you were to create another one right here, you would basically do another one, put in, you know, 300,000, 500,000 or something like that. And this is what we're doing right here. We're changing the neon and the colors of the parts that are already part of the stand. Now, if you wanted to do one where it's literally going to make a brand new stand itself, uh, you're going to have to do something like this admin stand right here um, that changes and it basically makes all this stuff transparency set to true. So what he's doing is basically this whole model that's like, there's like a literally a whole model in here that is just transparent. He's setting it to tr uh, zero, like the transparent, you're gonna be able to see it after it's, um, they or an admin or enable it. So that's what's really cool about this. Now I, I'd recommend just like, you know, cause what he's doing is setting it to true right here. Um, and we're gonna go into that in a second, but um, yeah, so nothing too crazy. So right in here is kind of all the stuff. Um, so AFK Handler, this is pretty simple. I did this in my over, uh, Vibe video. It's uh, just basically checking if a player goes AFK. Um, so this is the Unclaim Handler. So this is another thing you will have to make sure of. Um, this is basically checking for the um, admin stands and the new stands, so all that kind of stuff, making it transparent or not, and making sure that the uh, labels are fixed and everything like that. So Dev Daniel did an amazing job. I mean, God, he saved me so much time. I'm happy i paid him and i'm still wanting to pay him more because he's amazing so this is a data store called profile service um now this is so much better than data store and data store 2 uh in many other ways and i'm going to talk about that later on but um i'd really recommend looking into this because you guys will really like this in this in the future so i'll talk about this soon it's going to be coming in the next month <laughs> Um, so right here we have the stats handler as well. This is just um, checking if the player owns the game pass I mean bought the game pass or brought the po product. So yes, the stands do work with game passes and products in general Now I know you guys are like okay twin One thing is they're literally like not popping up like what the heck <laughs> um, like the Purchases well, that's just an issue with row proxy. We've been trying to fix it so much, but it just is not working a ton, so I hope you guys just understand. Um, but we're going to be checking, fixing it as much as possible. So this is just simple AFK stuff. Um, in here, we have the pop-up, the mute music, and edit UI. So the pop-up, um, if I'm right, uh, I don't know if it's enabled. Oh, it probably is. Um, let's see here. Visible. Okay, so the pop-up, I think, is the, uh, let's see here, notification, um, is the claim. Okay, perfect. Um, mute music, pretty simple. It's just going to mute the music down here. And then the edit GUI is basically going to be the whole thing where we're going to talk about admins. Okay, so this is where you're going to be putting your admin thing. And you're going to be putting the names of the admins and everything like that. So the edit, GU edit GUI itself is basically, you know, when you play the game and you get to edit your stand, which we're going to all do this in a second here. But when you play the game, you're going to be able to edit and you're going to be able to change the theme and uh, check if you're an admin. So what I want you guys to do, if you're, uh, if you haven't done, if you're, you know, whatever, you're an owner, you need to put your name in here. So what you're going to do, I mean, you can put a comma, you can just leave us in there if you want. You're going to put that right there. So that those are quotation marks and you are going to put your name, your username itself. You're not going to put your um, display name, you're going to put your username. So I did to place dev because that is my name. Um, if there was anyone else, you know, you, oh gosh, what the sticky keys. <laughs> you're going to be basically putting that out on in general. So put your name here. So name here and you're good. And what is that? What's that going to do? So this is a table, and I talked in my recent tutorial about tables. Um, so all the way down here, this is the admin button. Right here, we're creating a for loop, and we're checking if in the admin name right here, if in this table, if the name matches that, then we're going to be able to change the name to admins. I mean, change the theme to admins. So if you're an admin, we're going to change it. 
if you're not, then we're not going to change it. Um, but in here is pretty much the whole edit thing, like cancel and all that kind of stuff. But this is the 1,000, 10,000, and 100,000 thing. Now, if you really want to um, change the themes and make your own, you're going to have to copy and paste, like I said, and just duplicate it. Now, one thing players won't know, um, I mean developers, if you are going to do this, what I recommend working on one stand itself okay so literally just do one stand create a bunch of them you know edit them all you want and then duplicate them all again so delete all the rest of them just have one and just keep renaming them two three four and name it all around because if you don't you're gonna have issues because only one of them are going to have uh the custom stance so we're gonna click play right here and we're actually gonna go in and look at all this all right there was music playing so um as you can tell right here oh sh <laughs> I don't need music. Hold on. Let me let me pause this real quick. Okay, sorry about that. So, okay, as you can tell, we have the raised boards, we have the donated boards, everything like that. So, um, I don't know why I have that much donated, but oh, I think it was because I set it myself. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know how he got so much. That's weird. Oh, what the? Ira, who is this? <laughs> so, um, basically how this works um this is the donation board as you guys remember and the theater board so um there is this right here so this is the premium room i actually forgot to talk about this so we're gonna <laughs> talk about this in a second so as you can tell this is the premium room that players get to uh you know use to uh go back and forth oh i need to fix that i don't know why i'm not able to teleport back but i'll have to fix that real quick but um you know premium room and then we have the uh boombox so you hit change song and you get to change the music so this is a test purchase you know um, it's gonna check and then it should basically pop this up and you get to put the nine number in hit apply you're good and of course we have the sign right here um, basically going to check if you have it or not um, you get to purchase it and yeah so that's basically gonna give you the sign which is really nice but um yeah so basically i'm going to claim a stand and it'll basically put up the things up here now as you can tell uh sometimes it just doesn't work um that's just pretty normal but uh as you can tell right here we have the notification i mean the thing showing us that we own this stand so that's really nice um and uh of course when we go here we hit edit and there's all these cool buttons the admin buttons there's the refresh um there is the uh unclaimed but of course i'm going to claim it again and you can do the same thing over and over again and you can say you know whatever you want so subscribe to twin plays apply and that's about it. Um, and as you can tell, the sign on your uh, tool changed, which is amazing. Um, but as you can tell, so, you know, I can go 1K, 100K, but I'm going to do admin because I am an admin. So this is really cool. I mean, he did an amazing job on this. Uh, great job, Daniel. I really just like, I didn't even think this was that like this cool, but it just is it's just so sick. So yeah, that's about it. Um, feel free to... Um, subscribe tell us in the description what you think and um i know there are little problems but you guys this is pretty much a full-on kit and uh, i hope you guys like it um there are more videos coming out soon here and um yeah happy summer guys i'll see you guys later peace out everyone Bye bye